Welcome back everyone. I hope you're having a fantastic day. We're gonna watch Devastik in his Leopard prototype tier 9 German medium tank. One of my favorite tanks in the game. And he's gonna do something that uh, is... Uh, how do I describe it? Awesome, I guess. Special? It's just uh, you're in for a treat. Now some of you who have watched my videos before know that I uh, have complained about some maps in the past this one being one it seems like all the new maps are corridor maps this one in particular is designed for heavy tanks to just battle it out in the middle in the, right in the middle of the map there in those little kind of corridors Berlin is the same way all the heavy tanks and tanks that are fast with good turret armor rush to the buildings and fight in little corridor battle uh, Paris, same thing. Go down to the heavy corner and just duke it out. There's very little options for lightly armored mobile tanks. And that's what makes this game a little bit surprising. That he is in a Leopard prototype on this map. That is basically a corridor map. But I think what saves him is that it is encounter mode. And the encounter base is not in the middle. I am surprised that Wargaming did not put the encounter base right in the middle of the map where all the heavy tanks battle to give the heavily armored tanks a little bit more of an advantage. This game starts how it usually starts for Leopard Prototype. You press W, you get spotted, and you get annihilated because you have no armor. I'm just uh, surprised that you're not ammo racked. That's all I'm surprised so far, that you are not ammo racked. You've lost half your HP. He is not backing away from the fight. And he takes one shot. He rolls 351. He did some damage. For those of you who don't know, this tank's been buffed. It now has 420 alpha. Avished. Kill shot. Excellent. Half HP gone. One low rolled. Done. Stunned. What else could go wrong? That's why the result... Just keep watching, guys. The result is absolutely crazy. And he does not back away. He does not say, well, okay, I'm in a fragile tank. I'm going to go sit at the back and snipe, which I might do. But he does not. He pushes forward. He pushes forward. And what does he do? Oh, he does not have to. He kind of perched yourself on that little ridge line. You did not have gun depression, but you got a little spotting assist. Your team is losing 1-3. It looks like all the heavy tanks, the Russian ones, look at the minimap, the ISs and the, all the, he hit them. 369, wow, good roll there. I think the reason he's being very aggressive on this side is because he sees all the heavily armored Russian tanks and other tanks are in the corridor portion of the map, in the middle. So he's got to make hay while there's hay to be made. Another kill shot. I'm keeping track of the rolls, 351 and 369 so far. And 461. 465. The rolls that are not kill shots. Just gonna keep track of those. That's a kill shot. That's not a low roll. Beautiful. Okay. I'm just keeping the uh, uh, track of those on the side, guys. But just what? It's just. This is absolutely beautiful. Okay. Now they've got control of this flank. I think he wanted to be aggressive to clear out this flank. Because if they didn't clear out this flank, and then eventually those heavy tanks start working their way around then they're in a crossfire then they got no map position and then it's uh you know bye bye so okay he's uh he's doing okay average leopard uh, pta game so far he's, he's a fairly good gun fairly mobile doing okay teammates are being a little aggressive on this side this is good this is good it's all good everything's good can you take a shot here uh Complimentary ghost shell. Shall we write that one down as zero or not count it? We won't count it. Okay, how about this shot is boom. 474. Now that was a good roll. That was a good roll. And that was a regular AP shell. That was not an HE shell. Unless I fooled myself. That wasn't an HE shell. Okay, here he goes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He can He's going to farm. It's time for... Oh, wait. That guy's behind topography. Help your teammate out. But don't die. You have to take one. Beautiful. Beautiful. 385. Okay. And one more. Come on, come on, come on. Boom. Yes. 354. Beautiful. 
He is racking up the damage now, and your oh, your teammate died, but you are gonna take him out. Yeah. And you bounced a shot. That's nuts. <laughs> and is he gonna take this guy out? Uh, he tried. He tried. The T54 modified is right on the edge of his maximum detection range, so he could be there, but he's not. Okay, okay, okay. Three, four, five. We have six samples so far of his rolls this game. I'm going to summarize those at the end. And then we will know what his average alpha was in this game. In this game, not overall. What a close game. Okay, the Russian tanks have won the middle because his team did not contest the middle, which was probably smart. Uh, look at the Type 4 Heavy, which is, uh, I don't know what he's doing. He's wallowing in the water there. But this is good. So now they've controlled this part of the map. Now they have to contend with those uh, heavier tanks. He's using his mobility and he can, yeah, he can snipe. Can he snipe? Can he snipe? Aim, aim, aim. No. No, he missed. Oh, and he's detected. Get behind the rock. Or, yes, yeah, scoot down. Whatever. Do whatever you can to not get hit. Now this, now the expert, this is what uh, is just a treat, guys. Just watch this guy play, okay? This, uh, while I amuse myself seeing what his roles are so that I'll know if he high rolled or low rolled a lot. Just watch his gameplay now. He is backs up against the wall now, right? He's got basically nowhere to go. He's just got to defend. He's got to try and use this topography, hide himself, do the best he can to keep the enemies at range, and try and use his amazing leopard gun. His Type 4 Heavy is wallowing in the water still. <laughs> Not even in the cap, just in the water. Like a hippo. <laughs> and he's thinking, do I go, do I go, do I stay, or do I go now? If I go, there will be trouble, yeah. And if I stay... It might be double. Okay, let's see if we can... Oh, another one bites the dust. He's trying to do something here. Can he get... He doesn't have to cut the pressure. Can he? Yes, a kill shot. 350 for a kill shot. I do not include that in statistics. Who knows? That could have been a 500 roll. Uh, the Leopard Prototype has a gun that's described as, has, as having 420 alpha. And with plus or minus 25% RNG... The highest roll you can have is 525. The lowest roll you can have is 315. Is there such thing as an average roll? Think about that for a minute. You've heard me talk about this before. We're, I'm going to tell you what his average rolls were at the end of this game. For this game. His average roll for this game. Okay, let's go. Oh, beautiful. Yes, beautiful. That is not included in the stats. That's a low roll because it's a kill shot. You don't use that. But beautiful. Beautiful, my friend. Okay. Who do you handle now? You've got a uh, Russian light tank, that LT-432. you got this 60 TP. Can he put a shot into him? Yes, 432. Beautiful. Beautiful shot. Beautiful result. He is just playing like a boss now. He's, he's doing everything that... Hey, if you guys want to know how to play the lightly armored... Uh, sniper type tanks, you know, just, just watch and learn. Can he take out this, oh, can, is he going to take that guy out? Oh, the guy stopped. The guy stopped. He's in the cap. The 60 TP shows himself. He is not detected. Look at the 60 TP is inside his maximum uh, detection range. He is detecting the 60 TP because the 60 TP does not have a lot of concealment. The 60 TP blind shoots. And he takes a shot at this guy, takes him. Now he's detected. Beautiful. He knows that he can poke, even though that 60 TP is within that 445 meter circle, because he's got concealment in his leopard. He's got concealment. And oh boy. Can he take a sh Oh, he wanted to take the. Take him! 501. Now that's a roll. That's a roll. That's a beautiful roll. We're going to include that. And that's the kill shot. Oh, yeah. The 50 TP just did not do the right thing there. He just drove out like a Muppet in the open. Which was, Why would you do that when you know there's a leopard there? Ooh. Oh, boy. Okay, now it's him by himself. 
I'll shut up about the rolls now. I'm going to keep keeping track of them, but just watch this gameplay, guys. Can he? Will he get detected? Not detected. Is that bush good enough for him to poke, point his gun down, and shoot? How, how bushy is the bush is the question he's asking himself. How does he handle two guys in the cab? Show up where you're least expected. Hope you have. You don't have the gun depression. You're detected. You're, you're detected. Oh, he bounced. Critical hit on the Russian light. Of course. Of course it's a critical hit. Okay. Can he do it again? How do you, how do you create, how do you craft gun depression on a tank that doesn't have a lot of gun depression on this ridge line and shoot these guys? How is he going to do it? Can he possibly win, guys? Is that bush bushy enough? Let's see. He didn't get detected the first time. Okay, let's see. He's not detected. Not detected. Is he detected, guys? Yes. He took out the little uh, light tank. Was he detected before he shot? That's the question. I think he was detected before he shot. Is that bush bushy enough? It's a question every man should ask. What about this bush? <laughs> I don't know yet. I don't know the clear answer. He doesn't have the gun to... Beautiful. Beautiful. 389. Now, judging from when his sixth sense went off, I don't think he was detected until he pulled the trigger. It's always beautiful when you're not detected until you pull the trigger. In the bushy bush. But he's going... Okay, he's, uh, he's switching sides. He's playing the field here, guys. He's going for the other bush. Can he do it in this bush? I don't think you can create as much gun depression on this one. Is he detected now? He hasn't pulled the trigger? Yes, okay. Not all bushes are created equal, my friend. This bush isn't as bushy as the other bush, obviously. <laughs> they look the same. But he has learned, okay. This bush is bushier according to Wargaming. So can he do it? Can he do it? He bounced. And I, I don't think he was detected again until after he shot. I'm not sure on that one because now the enemy has changed. The enemy has moved position so he may be closer. Either way, this is superb gameplay. He is just trying not to die. The last hit he, he fired it was 389 roll. Let's see if he can take one more shot here. He, you could probably take a hit. No, maybe not. Can he? Yes. Oh! 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 oh, 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 oh. The typical trade. 462, your ammo rack. You out reload him. And 474. Beautiful! He knew that he reloaded faster. Even though he got ammo racked, he repaired quickly and took two shots to the object. Two five sevens, one shot. Now what to do? Don't get spotted. Get in the low ground. Now he's gonna pull the switcheroo. He's gonna pull the switcheroo, guys. He is gonna go where no man has gone before. He is gonna drive around, flank this guy, hope the guy is pooping his little diaper right now, wondering where is that leopard? I hope the leopard doesn't kill me. And he's gonna drive around behind, point his German gun at that Russian ass and penetrate it. He's gonna do it. Yeah, right up there. Oh. Avished. Beautifully done, buddy. 10 kills. Pools medal. Let's look at the post-game stats and I'm gonna review his, uh, his hits here, okay? These are his rolls. Look at those stats. 7,000 damage, 10 kills. Absolutely incredible. Incredible. Incredible, not credible. Well, it's credible because it happened. These are his rolls. 351, 369, 461, 474, 385, 354, 432, 501, 389, 462, and 474. 11 shots. That's excluding kill shots. And his average, his average was 422.9. Almost right on the mark of the alpha of his gun. Fantastic game. Great result. GG.